Okay, guys, so by now you've probably heard of the WannaCry uh, worm that has been infecting thousands upon thousands of Windows-based computers across the world, especially over in Europe. Um, and today I want to go over basically what it is and what you can do to protect yourself if you happen to be one of those people that is vulnerable to the attack. So let's hop to that. Now, first and foremost, not every Windows PC is actually vulnerable to this attack. In fact, if you are running Windows 10, chances are you are currently not even vulnerable if you have your system mostly up to date. Uh, the specific patch in question that fixed this problem for Windows 10 came back in March. So provided that you've been receiving regular security updates and you haven't put those off or been completely disconnected from the internet for a long time with a specific machine, you should be set to go. The specific security bulletin was MS17-010 and that, at least according to Microsoft, fixed the problem that the WannaCry virus is taking advantage of. The biggest problem though with the WannaCry virus, or it's actually a worm, uh, right now is with older machines, specifically on unsupported operating systems uh, and versions of Windows. We're talking about XP, 7, and Windows 8. And Microsoft has been taking a little bit of an unprecedented step towards patching even those older systems that uh, they don't even have support for anymore, including I just saw Microsoft uh, Windows XP is being patched to cover up this vulnerability so that those of you running those older operating systems that are no longer supported by Microsoft won't be exposed uh, to the worm in question if you haven't already. The Verge is reporting that the patch being issued by Microsoft to those unsupported operating systems includes Windows XP, uh, Windows Server 2003, as well as Windows 8. And of course, Microsoft has described this move as highly unusual. And uh, for those of you that keep in touch with uh, Microsoft supporting of older systems, you would likely agree that once they discontinue uh, the, that security support for older operating systems, it is very unusual to see a company come back and offer any kind of security patch. But because of the massive amount of need for this, especially in Europe where some businesses and even hospitals are experiencing this worm and it's crippling their computer systems and in, in hospitals case, causing potentially some people to even lose their lives uh, because of this worm. It is extremely important and kudos to Microsoft, first of all, for coming out with a patch, even though they really don't have to, though it does appear to be the morally correct thing to do. Now, for the moment, at least as of the publishing of this video, um, it appears that the infections of new computers may have tapered off due to a, uh, a web address being registered. And what the worm was doing was it was just checking this web address to see if it was still unoccupied. And the web address itself is a very nonsensical uh, long web address. In fact, it's highlighted here. Um, I U Q E R F S O D P nine I F and it goes on.com. And if the web address is occupied, it stops the, the ransomware from installing. Now that being said, it is very likely that the creators of this worm will just change that web address or change something with the worm itself that will bypass this. But for the moment anyways, it seems as if this sort of quote, kill switch as described by The Verge has helped at least slow down the infections. Though again, it is likely that, that the developers of this uh, worm will bypass that. So now that I've talked a little bit about the updates that Windows is pushing out to help people uh, cover up this vulnerability, I need to go over exactly what the worm itself does. It's a ransomware system, which means that it, in the background, will encrypt your entire computer system. And it offers to give you a decryption key for a payment. In this case, it is $300 for the decryption key and I have not heard of or, or seen anything that indicates that people that pay it are even getting the decryption key anyways. So it's very possible that you'd be throwing $300 down the toilet if you decided to pay this. So my recommendation is if you're just a normal home user like I am where I don't have massive amounts of computer systems, all my data is backed up on a NAS, which is really nice for me because if my computer were to get hit, it wouldn't be the end of the world for me because I don't keep sensitive documents on my computer and 
I keep anything that's really critically important stored or backed up elsewhere. If you are running a computer that does have something sensitive on it, uh, regardless of whether we think you're vulnerable or not, whether Windows 10 is actually vulnerable or not, according to Microsoft, if it's updated, it's not. But I would still recommend as just a just a best um, best practice, just backing up any important document somewhere that's not necessarily connected to the internet or connected to a network somewhere uh, just, just off your main computer. That way, if your computer Computer for any reason has a catastrophic failure, you don't lose those documents. Now, this particular ransomware worm, the WannaCry worm, uh, it, it gets its payment through Bitcoin, and that is just so it's not being tracked and you can't take back payment if you don't get the decryption key. So it's not like a credit card payment or a PayPal payment where you can pay after delivery. That's not how this works. So if you do pay, your money's gone, and likely they're not even going to send you a decryption key anyways. So Best practice here would probably be to just completely reformat your computer, re-image everything, uh, and just assume that the base system that was infected is just completely lost. Hopefully you have backed up data, uh, but there's really no way around that at the point of infection. Once you're infected, the game's already over. So in summary, here's the things that you should be doing or can be doing to protect yourself. First off, if you have a computer that is vulnerable to this attack, so a Windows 10 PC that hasn't been updated since March or older operating systems, older versions of Windows, and again, we're talking just about Windows PCs, then make sure you go and get those security updates immediately from Microsoft. And if you need help with doing that, um, in Windows 10, it's very simple. And, and in past Windows operating systems, all you have to go is to go into your settings, and search for updates and from there you can just click search for updates and any available updates will pop up make sure you get those installed to protect yourself in addition while you wait for those updates which which uh, may or may not be pop up immediately as Microsoft does have a rollout system with their uh, update system for all windows you can also back up any super important documents that you cannot lose uh, personal files you may be better off just getting those completely off your system altogether uh, and anything that you just want to make sure not to lose, whether it be sentimental things like family pictures or tax documents, you know, whatever the case may be, just back those up off your main system. So that's it for me, guys. I will leave some links down in the description below uh, for some reading that will help you sort of further research just exactly what the WannaCry worm is, how it works, and of course, those links will help you get yourself safe and secured for uh, avoiding the worm altogether. Also, fun reading is checking out how the NSA actually laid the groundwork for this worm in the first place. That's always nice when your own government really, really stabs you in the back with that one. But regardless, guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe down below, uh, comment. Uh, if you were hit by it, comment and let us know what your experience with the WannaCry worm is. Hopefully none of you were, but maybe you were. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram, at Hoosier Hardware, on both those, same tag for both. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.